This is code.org. This program transverses or goes through a list of prices to find the minimum price. Add code to transverse the list to find the maximum price. All right, so they already got minimum. And we've discussed this before, but we have a loop here. So, and we also, var minimum price is equal to price is zero. So there's the minimum price apparently. Nope, they're just setting it equal to a value to start out. Okay. And then var price. All right. Four var is i is equal to zero. So we're going to use i to count. This is a for loop. We start at zero. Each i plus plus means i equals i plus one. So we're going to add to i by one each time. i must be less than price's length. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Hopefully I counted right. So now i starts at zero. Zero less than seven. Yes. So we dip into our loop here. And then we say price is equal to price is i. Well, what's i? i is zero. Zero index is 70 cents. Okay, so now price would be equal to 70 cents if 70 cents, right, is less than min price. What's min price? Well, to start off, we just made min price the first index. So the first index is 70 cents. Is 70 cents less than 70 cents? No, the computer would say false. That's not less, that's equal to. So if it's false, we don't run the code in the if, we go down, we hit the bottom of our loop, back to the top, and we go, okay, we need to add one to i. Well, i was zero, so i is now one. Is one less than seven, less than the length of our list? Yes, that is true. Since it's true, we go back into our loop again. Price is now equal to price is i. What's i this time? One. So what is that index? One, 1 1.5, so $1.50. Right, and let's say we keep going and we get to index two, which is 50 cents. So we go back around, blah, blah, blah. Now, 50 cents, it's equal to, right? Price is index, yep. Is 50 cents less than, what is it? 70 cents, the min, right? Yes, that is true. 50 cents is less. So we dip into this. Min is now equal to price, which price is 50 cents. Hit the bottom and we keep going. Once we get to the length, the loop is done. We dip below and we run the other code. All right, transverse list to find the maximum value. So we want the price's max value. I'll leave it at i, I guess, because they let you. Normally you would have a different variable, but that's fine. All right, so we need to find a max. Let's use an equal sign, add code here. And they already set us up with max price. We can use price again because it's not currently being used and it's declared up there. All right, so I'm gonna just reuse price price is going to be equal to, and this is going to look just like above actually, price is i, because we're going through each item. Now, they made it max value equal to the first value in the list, which makes sense because we need to be able to compare it to stuff. What do we do after that? We do an if. So, if price is greater than, so if it's greater than max price, what would we do? Well, if it's greater, we need to reassign it. So we're going to wipe out what we used to have as the max price because we found a price greater. And now max price will be great, will be equal to that price we just found because that's obviously the now maximum price. I don't want a blank line here. All right. Oh, okay. Here we are. So now that's the new maximum price. And then we keep looping through, just like I explained above. And once we get to the end, this should be equal to our max price. We dip below and print. Let's see. Max price of 325. That is looking good. Cool. Let's keep going. 